Today I'm going to share a fun DIY project for your garden. We're going to use fence panels and T-posts to create an arch for growing plants. This video is part two of my loofah growing mini series and this will be the main structure I use to grow my loofahs. But this tunnel works great for other plants besides just loofahs. You could build this arch to grow a variety of vining plants, including bottle gourds, morning glory, moonflowers, or pole beans. Whatever you decide to grow, the arch becomes a magical living structure and it also makes a great place to sit in the shade in the summer. I'm going to use two 16-foot cattle panels for my arch, but you can use a different number of panels to make the tunnel longer or shorter. For each panel, we will also need two T-posts. Since I have two panels, I'm using four T-posts. Now, we already own these materials from other projects, so my first step was to gather the materials. This took a bit of work and some help from the tractor, but we got it done. If you don't happen to have an extra fence panel lying around, this step should be a little easier and only involve a trip to the store. Fair warning, I had a bit of sticker shock when I looked up fence panels on tractor supply, but you might be able to find one secondhand for a better price. Now it's time to decide where you want to build your arch. This will depend on what you want to grow and what your yard and landscaping look like. For me, I wanted an area with lots of sun since the loofah gourds I grow like lots of sunshine. The backyard was a sunny spot, plus it's close to the house for watering purposes. Next, it's time to put a tee post in the ground. My dad took care of that step for me, and he made sure to go deep enough so the post can strongly support the arch. To figure out where to place the second tee post, we curved the panel into an arch shape and adjusted until we liked the position. While the fence panels bend into an arch pretty well, please do be careful at this step that it doesn't spring open and hit you. This is a great step to have another set of helping hands. For my arch, I wanted it to be tall enough that I could walk under, so we bent it to create an arch that was a bit on the taller side. Then we pounded another post into the ground at the opposite edge of the arch. Initially, we planned to do multiple posts on each side of each panel, but after putting one post on either side, the arch seemed pretty sturdy. Of course, feel free to reinforce the arch with more posts if you find your arch isn't that sturdy. But now, the first panel is in place. Since the second panel was going right next to the first to extend the length of the tunnel, the next set of posts were easier to line up. Again, once the first post for the second panel was in the ground, we bent that panel into place and added the final T-post on the opposite side. The last thing I did was use some zip ties to hold the panels to the T-post. The panels still had a little bit of play in them, so the zip ties are to hold the bottom in place so it doesn't rock as much. Now, I never got around to trimming my zip ties, plus I kind of like the pop of color they added, but I did spend the whole summer going, what is that blue thing? Oh wait, it's the zip tie, never mind. So optionally, trim the zip ties. But whether you trim your zip ties or not, the arch is all ready for planting. One last thought about planting. I planted directly into the ground, which for me is hard clay soil, without doing any prep. No tilling, no adding compost, etc. So if you do want to prep the ground for what you're planting, here are two ideas. The first idea is to prep the ground before setting up your arch. I think the biggest potential problem with this is the dirt might be looser from amending the soil and the T-post will need to go deeper in the ground to hit solid soil so it doesn't move. The other option is to build growing boxes along the bottom edge of the arch and fill the boxes with good soil. This way, you can prep the garden box with whatever growing medium you want and it might make weeds easier to manage. Whatever you decide, I hope you have fun with this project. The arch was a great way to support my growing loofahs and it looks so beautiful when it was covered in vines and flowers. If you build this arch, be sure to let me know in the comments what you end up growing on it. Happy crafting!